And good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, the chat is not working again on the side of the screen. I'll fix that in a second. If you can hear me and see me okay, please let me know if it is all working fine. Uh, yeah, just drop me a message. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we're going to be playing Monster Expedition today. This is the new game from Alexander Pfister. But if you are expecting another super heavy Euro game, it's not that. This is a much lighter game uh, published from Amigo Spieler. Uh, they sent me a copy. It's in German only. We've got a PDF of the English language version of the rules. Read through them, not played the game. So this is going to be my first game of it. Uh, and I'm just doing it to basically, yeah, because it's an Alexander Fister game. So I'm automatically interested in it, even if it's a lighter game. And we're going to see how it, uh, we're going to see how it plays. Now, I'm joined by two friends today. Uh, first up, Mark. Hello. Is he here? He's here. I, I'm here. Good. Let us know if you can hear Mark in the chat. So uh, say hello and introduce yourself. Hello and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Mark. Um, you, you can find me on Twitter at Marky, Mark Marcus Buttocus. I am a, uh, a an editor. Uh, I stream uh, and I like to lose at board games. So, there you go. Uh, so I'm in the right place, I think. Exactly the same as me then. Rulebook editing by day, playing games by night not very well, and, uh, mm. and does live streams. <laughs> That's that sounds accurate. I think you yeah. I think you've covered up all the that's, all the important bits. That's basically it. Now somebody who is good at games is another friend of mine, Tom. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. Enjoying you, this weekend. Have you been playing any games this morning? Uh yeah, I played Barrage this morning. Right, okay. Ooh. Yeah, and I've been playing all day yesterday and Friday as well. Obviously. How did the Madeira game go yesterday? Uh yeah, it it went well. Um, Good. It, it's, just, it's not the easiest of games to do online because no. there's <laughs> so many things going on. Um, yeah. But yeah, we all enjoyed it. Yeah. Right. So let's start talking about Monster Expedition. So as I mentioned, not played this game. We've all read through the rulebook. Although this is the German version of the game, uh, the English rulebook is available online. We've all read through it. None of us are really sure how this is going to play out. I'm going to give you a very quick overview right now. From what I remember and then we'll explain more details as we go on. So we're basically hunting monsters. Uh, there are there's a special card up in the top right as you can see here. In fact let's zoom in on this bit. So there's always going to be 10 monsters in the display here. This card here is a special one but these are the six starting ones. They've got a different back so it's always these six and then what we do is we take this deck of cards, we give it a shuffle and in a three player game am I right that it's 27 cards? Or 35. Uh, three, three 35. Players, 35. 35. Right. Two, four, six, ten. <coughs> six. <coughs> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Right. 35 cards. <coughs> Got something in my throat. Spare cards, uh, they just go off camera for now. They're going to be in the reserve. Out of these 35 cards, these are going to get shuffled. And we start with three of these. And this makes up the monster display at the start of the game. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hunting these monsters, <coughs> uh, capturing them, uh, bringing them back home, and they're going to be worth the points printed on them. So if you notice that there is a number in a gold area here, this is how many points it's worth at the end of the game if you manage to capture it. This is kind of the hunting value that you need to be able to capture it. Uh, and the number below here, this is the victory points it's worth if it's caged. There's a way that you can cage the monsters as well. We'll come on to that later on. Okay, let's zoom out. So what happens is we've randomly decided, kind of randomly decided, Tom's going first, so these are his camp tiles. Mark's going second, these are Mark's. I'm going third. These are actually not the same, okay? If we look, if we just zoom in closely, you will see... Uh, that Tom's cards are slightly different from Mark's cards. What's around the outside is the same, but it's what's on the inside which is slightly different. Um, and these are the base camps. So each turn what's going to happen is you're going to choose which of these camps you want to start exploring from. What's printed at the top is how many dice you roll. So there's a whole bunch of dice in the game. So for example if Tom decides he's going to go hunting from the blue camp, he's going to roll two black dice and one blue dice. Okay. The dice will be rolled. I'll go into more details about how that works later. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the highest number you can get. And then you'll try to capture one of the monsters. Now, because if Tom chose to 
uh, break out from the from the blue side, you can only capture one of the blue monsters. If you choose this one, you can capture one of these. If you choose the green one, you can capture one of these. There are two special ones in the game. Remember, some of the cards have been taken out, so we don't know whether they're actually in this game or not, but two of them are special and can be captured from any of your camps. And then you will get it, and you'll put it in front of you, and it'll be worth the points printed at the end of the game, but it also has a special ability, okay? Now, in addition to that, you can upgrade these camps as the game goes on. If we just zoom in again, you will see that once you, these are rotated by upgrading them, they will give you more and more dice as the game goes on. And then when you get to there, you can actually flip it over and then you can upgrade it a total of seven times by the end of the game. And also something happens when you upgrade it um, a seventh time. The game will end, I think, when the deck runs out and we finish that round and then it ends immediately. And then we add up the points and we see who wins. Right. That's it for an overview. Is that enough, do you think? I think so. I think so. Yeah. There's a lot more to it than that, but we'll explain it as we go along. So, Tom, you are first. Which of these camps do you want to start from? Um, I think I might as well start from the yellow one. That's okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this board off camera. Now, this board is useful because it tells you the numerical distribution between the different dice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it... I might just keep it here so it's kind of on camera. Uh, the deck, I'm going to put here and i'm going to put dice rolling tray uh, tray from jason dinger here right so tom you're going from this yellow side so you get two black and a yellow so the way this works is you roll the dice uh you roll the two a five and a ten and then what he has to do is he chooses one value of dice takes that dice out and banks it if he'd have rolled two twos could have chosen the number two and banked both of those dice and you can keep repeating that process as many times as you want but you have to choose a different value each time. If you roll a dice that already, oh, sorry, if all of the dice you roll match your banked ones, uh, then that's a miss roll and, and something bad happens. But you can stop whenever you want and you're trying to get basically the numbers that are printed on here. Okay, uh, I will bank the 10. I, I was gonna say, you're gonna bank the 10 <laughs> and then you re-roll these yep. or do you wanna stop? Re-roll those. Yeah, you might as well no, re-roll re because there's, there's no the way you can roll a 10 on these. Right, you got a two and a six. Uh, I will bank the six. Yeah. Uh, and I think I will stop at that point. Okay. So this dice just gets returned back to the supply. So Tom now has 16 points to spend. And there are... Uh, actually, I should have banked the two, shouldn't I? Because that will let me upgrade something. That's a much better point. Yeah, you're going to bank the two? Yeah, I'll okay. bank the two. Are you re-rolling the six or not? I won't re-roll the six. Oh, okay, right. I want to so lose Tom now has 12 points to spend. You can spend it on three different things. You can buy the actual um, cards themselves for the price printed on them. You can, if you had 40, you get six cages. That's not going to happen for a while. But if you have 10, you can actually buy one of these cages. So you buy the card, it's face down, and it just goes there. At the end of the game, the monster that's on the back of it, you will get the points from it. In the actual physical game, you are allowed to look at what's on the back, but we talked about this earlier, that there doesn't seem any reason to do that, um, because if it's caged, you just get the points printed on the bottom, and you don't get the special ability. So they are the three things that you can spend your uh, points on. So if I'm understanding this right, uh, you can spend points that you have rolled on monsters and cages but you can also then use the banked dice to upgrade things like you exactly can, you, yes so it so isn't because... so much that you're spending all of your points on all of those things so much as it is you can spend the points but then also if, like if you used a two towards say one of the monsters you could also then use that banked two absolutely I think. yes right. absolutely. So, just to so understand that correctly yeah yeah um so, so yeah I, so I'll buy one of the, I can't quite read them, but the, the uh, monsters that I'm allowed to, yeah, so one of those. This one? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, these these are the German names, so I'm not going to try and pronounce them. But <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> this basically costs you 12, and you have 12, so that is your card. So that's worth one point at the end of the game, and it has a special ability that now means if Tom has at least one monster from each of the three symbiosis symbols, uh, it gets an extra black dice. 
whenever, whenever rolling dice. And this monster is from a yellow one, so you're a third of the way there. Uh, and then as Mark just said, those 12 points, although they've been spent to buy this card, the, for the purposes of upgrading your camps, which I'm pointing to and you can't see, for the purposes of upgrading these camps, these dice still count. They are still banked dice. So, Tom, you can now upgrade this one. Yes. And there you go. And I think that's it. Yeah. Now, uh, this right. does not get refreshed. Okay, mm. because I didn't buy, buy a cage. Yeah, it only gets refreshed when a player buys a cage. So we'll get to that when we get to it. Right, Mark, you're up. Okay, well, uh, let's let's do blue, I think, the middle, the middle okay. one. Just to, get... just to be different. Two black and a blue. All right. And you've rolled a one, a three, and a four. I will bank the four. Okay. And then I will re-roll the rest I will for you, will, you on yeah. my behalf. <laughs> okay. It's now, a two and a two. So now that's interesting. Yeah, I think you have to choose two. Yeah. So yeah. So I will. I will bank those twos. That's actually really good. I think. Because... So that's not going to allow you to buy anything. No. What about the what about the little fox guy? He has an eight, right? Yeah, but you have to go from the forest camp to get. There. Oh, right on, right on. Yeah, so you I you can only the numbers take these on the blue, two on the the top ones there. Yeah. So you're one short. Oh no. Okay. Well, dice uh, games. I will still get to double upgrade though, right? Yeah. You've got two twos, which means you can upgrade this camp twice. Uh, I see. Okay. Yep. That's yep. that's that's totally fine. I think that's right. Yep. Yeah, that is right. Okay, so, um, yeah, I was really hoping you'd rolled a seven then. <laughs> let me let me have a look at what's here, uh, and I think I'm going to go for the green camp because that's the easiest one to get, just in case. So I'm going to roll two black and a green. Okay, we've got a five, a one, and a three. I'm going to keep the five. I'm going to re-roll these two. Ooh. Uh, I'll keep the six. Mm. And I am going to re-roll this. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. Because if this matches one of these, if this, yeah, if this matches either of these, it's a misroll and I'm going to lose something. It's a three. Oh. Right. Okay, good. Well done. So I've now got 14 points to spend on green. Um, well, I think I'm just going to buy the cheap one. Uh, oh, no, I could buy one of these. Ooh. Yeah, this, this is basically the Ryzen Mantis is a better version of these. So I'm going to buy that. So that is mine. And I've got a three, which means I can upgrade this. And I'm just going to check to see if you two. So you two upgrade if somebody else rolls a 10 or an 8. So there you go. That goes there. That goes there. Uh, I, I did roll a 10 on my first roll. You rolled a 10, but I think it has yeah. to be another is player, it, isn't it? Someone that... Let me just check the rules. I just said whenever any player scores with that value. Oh. Ooh. Some camps have a bonus improvement printed on them. A player can improve that camp whenever any, in bold, banks a die with that value. Okay, so because you rolled a 10, you could have upgraded that one again. I think that's right. Yeah, that does seem right. So okay. I can't read the numbers on it on the Skype. But yeah. yeah. That's, uh... Right, so it's your go, Tom. Okay, so, well, seeing as my blue is upgraded. I'm it's gonna... massively upgraded, yeah. I'm gonna use the blue. Okay. So you're rolling four black and a blue. There we go. You've got two twos, a three, a five, and the blue eight. Uh, I will bank that eight. Okay, so that is banked. That's pretty good. Which is good for Mark, because you can upgrade this yeah. if, if somebody yeah. rolled an eight. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll these. There you go. Two, four, five, six. Ah. Uh. Interesting. Let, yeah, let's take the six. And okay. Tell me when you want to stop rolling. or carry on. No, I'll keep rolling with those. 
Two, three, six. Oh no. It's, it's fine because I can still bank something. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's only if you can't. If you roll, oh, you I can't was, bank oh, something. Okay. Okay, yeah. that's oh, yeah. that's okay. That's way better. Okay, that's okay. So, Good enough. Uh, Michael is asking in the chat: Is it cooperative? It's not cooperative. We are. It's a competitive game. We're trying to uh, capture monsters, and it's whoever scores the most at the end of the game. It's cooperative in the sense that Paul is rolling our dice for us, because otherwise yes. we would be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll I'll bank the three. Okay. And I'll keep going. You're gonna keep going. Yeah. So this could be bad. It could be, but Ooh. it's not. Uh, so I have to bank the four. Yep. Uh, and I will stop at that. You're going to stop there. Okay, yep. so because you banked an eight, Mark can upgrade this camp tile. Yes, please. Okay. And that's going to upgrade that one. So you have uh, 18... You've got 21 points to spend on green. I have. So... Uh, I could either... Oh, no, I... this is blue that I'm spending on. Sorry, blue. 21 yeah. points on blue. So I could either buy those two blue cards, mm -hmm. or I could buy one of them. And a cage. And a cage. Yeah. Um, well, let's go for one of them and a cage. Because okay. The cage Which one? Um, I guess I might as well take the cheap one. Yeah. So you buy that. So that is yours. So I'm going to offset it like that and tom is also buying a cage okay so a cage remember is worth less victory point or fewer victory points doesn't matter what's on the other side because it isn't going to have any effect on the game but what happens when one player buys a cage we now restock the display with new cards and this is the clever bit that i want to see how this plays out is the player who triggered that restock puts one of their counters on those cards. Now, if anybody takes one of those cards, that counter just gets returned to them. But if those cards are still there at the end of the game, then that player gets them. Ooh. Is that right? Yeah, you get them caged. Caged, so right, okay. Right. Yeah. So, uh, I think we're done. And then this upgrades. All done, Tom? Yes, yeah, that's right. right. Yep. Mark, which camp would you like to set off from? Going back to blue, because it's upgraded now, and it looks like there's it a is. few good uh, blue monsters out there. So So you got four black and a blue. Can you see your dice clearly? I can. Okay. Now. <laughs> so the question becomes, do I want to just bank those three once and just upgrade my yellow a whole bunch? That would be upgraded three times if you did that. Yeah. The only problem is, by doing that, I'm basically preventing myself from actually getting anything else. Yeah. So, I think I'll bank the five. Yep. And roll. There you go. Ooh. Well, I will bank that seven. Yay! It's good for me. Yep. And I will, I will roll again. I'm going to bank the one. Okay. And I'll roll once more. You are going, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Ah, right. We have our first miss roll. So I um, lose the seven, if I understand miss roll. I think throwing so. Correctly. Which is yes. not good for me then. <laughs> yeah, that, I did that. I did that to stop you from getting your up. Oh, is that is that why you did it? Right. <laughs> We're supposed to be joining forces, me and you, Mark. Ah. So, uh, so miss throw. Seven. If you roll only numbers that you've already banked, this is a miss throw. Uh, you lose your highest banked die, put it back in the supply. Uh, if you have more than one highest die, you only lose one of them. And then after a miss throw, you can choose whether to continue rolling or stop hunting. So you can yeah, gonna... carry on now and re roll these. Yes, please. Okay. There you go. I will. Now, see. Hmm. I'll bank the four, mm -hmm. and so I have a 50-50 shot of, because I can't buy anything, and I'm one short again. Uh, you could buy a cage, but yeah. You know what? Let's go. 
Well, for the for the for the entertainment purposes of rolling again, I'll I'll roll again. Take some chances. It's another five. So unfortunately, that dies. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll again. Yeah, if you get a five or six, you're all right. Yeah, six would be great, actually. Thank you. There you go. There you go. I will take that six. <laughs> nice. This is exactly how I planned it. Yeah. <laughs> Good plan. So you're gonna buy uh, this. Uh... I'll this buy the that, that friendly looking lizard there. Starshall Mall, yep. That goes there. And you had a, and, a and one. I had a one that will upgrade the uh yeah. Okay, that yep. wasn't as bad as I thought. No, that worked almost. out, okay. Yep. And so that ability is now when I have a set of the three yep. things I get an extra die whenever I hunt. Yeah, we've all got I, I think all the starting monsters are designed to give you extra black dice. So Do they right. stack? Like could mm. you have if you have more than one monster with that ability, would you get one well, die for each i think so that but then that seems that crazy so, good mine is that it's, it's per set you've got so you you'd need two blue i see you'd have to spend you're basically spending them on the ability on the card so if you had two sets you could do that twice basically but not but only if you have two cards i guess I, well, well they, I, I think all the ones that have the icon in the in the top corner have that ability on them, um, and the ones that don't have that ability don't have an icon. Ah, yes, you're right. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. Good. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay. Yep. Just spotted that. Got it. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. So, my go. Where are we going to go from? We're going to go from. Oh yeah. So this is why you need different colours, isn't it? Yeah. This is quite neat for a light game so far. Um, I think I'm going to go green again. I'm going to go three black and a green. Uh, okay, I'll take the six and I'll re roll these. I'll take the seven and I'll re roll these. Uh, I'll take the three and now that's 16. Now I'm going to carry on. Yes. Nicely done. Right. Okay. So I've got 18, which is enough to buy uh either that one. Oh, that's got a wild card symbol on i just noticed mm -hmm. oh that's quite nice that that is quite nice i was going to buy that in a cage uh, i was going to buy that in a cage but actually because that's got a that's got the wild card symbol in the top left i'm going to buy that one and it's now annoying. i've got a two and i've got a three uh and i don't have any of your numbers so that's it i'm good to go Tom. Okay. Well, I've got a yellow card and a blue card, so I'm going to go for green. Mm -hmm. Three and black and a green. Make a set. There you go. Nice. Okay. Let's bank that eight. Excellent. Yeah. Mark's happy with that. Uh, and yeah, I will roll. Two twos and a four. Uh, I'm going to bank the two twos mm -hmm. and then stop, I think. Okay. So you have uh, 12 points to spend on green. Okay, so I'll buy the, the cheap green card. Cheap green card, right. So now you have a full set, which means you'll get an extra black dice. Yeah, black die each time. Yeah. Uh, and I've got two twos to. You've got two twos, with. so that upgrades to level four, and then we flip over. To level five and mark uses the eight to upgrade that one thank you all done right now yeah uh, well there's only one yellow out there uh and there are two green so yeah let's do we'll, we'll hunt from green i think okay so that's four black and a green there you go. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'll bank the I'll bank the six. Okay. And then we roll. I will bank those threes. And <laughs> st uh, no, I can't stop though because uh, uh, I'm putting myself a w I'm one away again. Yeah, but there's only a one in six chance that you'll fail. Two because the six is up there. Two and six. Oh yeah, the six. Yeah. You know what? Again, for the, for the purposes of entertaining the folks at home, uh, <laughs> let's roll again. Hey! Hey! Good job, team. All right. right you have uh, 19 points to spend on green. Oh right. I I was thinking of the three threes as being one three, uh, which I probably maybe I would have stopped. Okay, well, nineteen. Well, I'll I will uh, I will take yeah I'll have to take that, and I think yeah. that's all I can do with it. Unfortunately, it is. But you do have three threes. But I will triple upgrade my so uh, that's my green. One, two, three. Uh, can anybody use the four and the six? Nope. Nope. Right. Uh, Manuel Career is here. Folks at home have been entertained. So congratulations, Mark. You have successfully entertained the I, crowds. I do what I can. Ooh. I like the way that the the upgrade sort of incentivize players to bank lower dice. Yeah. I think that's the reason why that's there. Because otherwise, yeah, absolutely. Like, let's get as high dice as we can. But that that's that's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Thing. And that's the thing. Even though it's a light game, it's got Fister's name on it. So you think, mm. oh, there's got to be some cleverness going on here. And mm. yeah, that's what it is. Right. I don't think I want to go green again. I think I need to go blue and I need to get... Oh, I need to get actually that. Oh, but I'd have more chance with that. Ooh. Daddy or chips. Um, I'm going to go... I'm just having a look at the numbers. No, I'm going to go yellow. So we're going to go from my rubbishy yellow base camp style. Uh, ooh. Can I just have all of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the two fours. Bank that because I cannot roll the four on the yellow dice. Yeah. Mm. Roll the Ooh. seven. Well done. So that is 15, which is enough to buy this one. So I will buy that. Uh, now, who uses the seven? It's me. So you did, yeah, it's you. Nice. There you go. Right. I am done. I have a full set as well now. So, seeing as I get loads of dice on blue, and almost all the cards that are out are blue, I think I'll go for blue. blue. So, it's normally five black and a blue, but because you've got a full set of symbiosis, it's six black and a blue. Right, this is where cages start getting bought. Yep. I think. There you go. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's just bank the six, I think. Bank the six. Yep. And I will keep rolling. Uh, let's, yeah, let's take the seven. Okay. Not going to roll a seven with the rest of them. You're going to carry on? I'm going to carry on, yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, I can't bang the sixes. You can't Let's bang the sixes. Let's bank the three. Okay, yeah. That will allow an upgrade. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's safe to keep rolling. It's, it's safe-ish, yeah. It's barely safe. Uh, so let's check my numbers. So for those people who missed the explanation and are just tuning in, uh, Tom cannot choose a dice number that he's already banked. And if he rolls all dice of the numbers that are already banked, loses the highest dice, but they can then carry on. It's not a complete failure. Yeah. Let's, let's try carry on. So let's bank the four. Okay. And have another roll. Have another roll. So if these are all threes, fours, and sixes. Oof. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> well, so I, you bank the one. I bank the one. Do so. you want to carry on? Yeah, let's try it for the. He's going to go for it. Entertainment. <laughs> it's a good strategy. Oh, he did it. There you go. Yeah. I'll bank the two and I will stop. Yeah, of course you will. <laughs> 
So 13, 16, 20, 23 points to spend. So I'm just going to go and see. Obviously, there's that thing there that costs 24. Mm -hmm. um, but there's another one that costs 12. Uh, and then a, a cave that costs 10. Yep. So, yeah, I can get I can get those. So You're going for this one? That, that one for 12. Yep. And then a cage for 10. Cage for 10. Okay, so because you've bought a cage, we refill the offer. And we're going to put one of your counters on each of these cards. Yeah. What am I doing? I'm doing them the wrong way up. I thought you were doing it for dramatic effect. You're going to flip them. No, no, I was just theatrically. <laughs> hey, I was giving, <laughs> I was giving you a way out. <laughs> uh, we kind of run out of counters. Is that covered by the rules? I don't uh -huh. know. interesting so if somebody buys a cave refill the wilderness display uh, so according to the um the contents list i've got i should there should be nine of each counter and we have how many on screen seven okay right uh <laughs> did you move is it the, the card i bought had one of my counters on it did that get moved somewhere else it did that's here okay We're still missing one let's just check one two three one two three four five six seven. so so mark's got nine one two three four five six i've got nine and you've got one two three four five six seven eight right this red dice is yours as one of your other counters. I've obviously misplaced it between unpunching it 10 uh, minutes ago <laughs> and bringing it upstairs. So. Um, well, eight's all we need at the moment because yeah, the, it was that the one, wasn't next it? card was already out. Yes, so, okay. So you got a spare token. Um, okay. And then I think I get to upgrade each card once. Uh, what did you roll? You rolled that. I think I rolled, yeah, everything <laughs> except five. So one, two, a three and I, and there's a seven so i'll borrow the seven and i'll have that there we go right now well, some something just occurred to me this new special ability that you've got we need to read what that does yes this is whenever anybody once per turn does a miss throw you can upgrade your yellow camp yes Right. There we go. So, Mark. I don't like this. I don't like this spread at all. <laughs> <laughs> there's no yellow. There's, there's no yellow. Uh, no yellow there's monsters. Here. Yeah. The, yeah. There's yeah. Here. It's kind of expensive, and my and my yellow camp's not really that upgraded. No. Um, I could try for it though. Thirteen's not. Su you know what? Let's do it. Let's go. We're gonna hunt. We're gonna hunt from yellow. Okay. Yeah. The yellow dice is the highest number. Yeah, yellow dice have some tens on it. I mean, you've rolled a one with it, but it is the highest numbered dice. <laughs> yeah. I'll bank. I'll bank the three. Yeah. I will bank the six, and I will roll again. Oof. Well, drat. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, in that case, I'll that's you know, a cage. Those ones. That'll that'll at least that'll that'll at least upgrade the yellow camp a couple times. Yep. And I'll take yeah, I'll take the cage. Yeah, you get a cage for the ten, and you've got two ones and a three, so that's one. Yeah, that's not bad for upgrades, two, I guess. And a three, and nobody can use the six. No. Mm, right. Nope. Okay. So my go. Uh, I've got my full set. So it's it's. Where do we want to go for next? I think I might go from. Judging by the numbers that are out there. I think I'm going to go from yellow as well. So it's four black and a yellow plus the black for the symbiosis. Right. Okay. Be good. He says rolling a one. I'll take the five. 
Come on, yellow dice. Ooh, that's better. That's an eight. We'll have that. I like that. Oh, yeah, you do, don't you? Uh, I'll take the six. Take the four. I'm just going to have a think. So that is 23. Hmm. 23. 23 from yellow. Yeah, I'm going to stop. I'm going to have this one. Okay, so Mark, you use the eight to upgrade that, which gets you two cages. Yes. That is now upgraded to the highest level. Give me those cages. There you go. You have some extra cages. Thank you. Uh, and that's it. I like this. This is good. Right. Yeah, Tom. it's snappy. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I like that about it. It's not. Uh, it's. It has decisions without being too. Too many decisions. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go blue again. Okay. My so that's good five normally good. plus your one for your upgrade. And the blue die. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? Because if I were to bank those two twos, that would fully upgrade my it blue. It would, yeah. Which would get me a bonus. Yeah, let's try that as something different. Okay. I was hoping is... you'd bank the seven. Yeah, well, the instinct is often to just bank the biggest number first. But Yeah. But if you don't bank the biggest number but first, you can preserve no. it from from getting. Yeah, uh, it also is, yeah. If, if something, if I do get a misthrow, yeah, it's obviously unlikely now. But if I do, I lose a two rather than. Okay, um, well now I'll bank seven. Yay! Okay, we're carrying on. Yeah, yeah might as well. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh... Yeah, let's bank the four. And I'll go again. Um, I suspect, yeah, I'll bank the six. That's a 21 total. 21. So, so that's, there's a card there that costs 24 that looks quite good, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I think the odds are all right. Let's let's re-roll. You think? It's 50-50. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've got two dice. Yeah. Uh, there you go. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, no, it was 75% chance, yeah. Uh, well. So I, I'll bank the three, because that's my yeah. initiative. And I think if I've done the maths right, that takes me to 24. Yeah. So I will... Stop, obviously, and I'll buy that 24 point card. One. Which goes there. So you upgrade your yellow one every time an eight gets rolled. So I'll tell you what, I've got an idea. I'm going to put that there. That's that's a good plan. And, and put the, the next card as well is, is also a. Yeah, know, I'll do that. Okay, right. Uh, and then so I. Two twos. Two twos. Which gets you two cages. Slide them underneath. Uh, a seven, which is good for me. And you've got a three as well. So, I've acquired cages there. Does that cause a refill? Oh. That's a good, good question. question. Does that... If you gained at least one cage during yeah. your turn, yes. Yeah, I have gained at least one cage. We may have forgotten to do that earlier. I can't quite remember. Well, so. I think earlier, Mark acquired cages during your turn, wasn't it? So Yeah, you're right. 
and it, it does say if if you were and it does say during your turn in bold. Turn. Yeah, I so. think we're I think we're good. I yeah. Think we okay. Are playing correctly. Right. Okay. Uh, Mark, you'll go. Um. All right. Let's. I need. To, I want to get the. I want to get a full set. So I'll. Uh, we'll go back to the yellow. Back to yellow. yellow camp. Yep. So one, two, three, four in the yellow. Oh, you got the ten. Well, we'll bank the ten. Yeah. Because that'll make it dramatically unlikely that I won't get uh, the yellow icon. Although let's not let's not be hasty here. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna bank the. I'm gonna bank the ones, and I'm gonna hope mm -hmm. for the best. And hope you don't roll two ones. Yeah, basically, I would need to roll snake eyes. I did not. I'll bank the five. Or no. Well, maybe it wouldn't make any sense for me to bank the five. If I bank the two, I'll buy that 13 cost monster and I'll be able to mm -hmm. upgrade ones, the one and two. Yep. Rather than take the five. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. So, you upgrade this one twice. So, mm -hmm. it flips over to the other side and then goes to there. And then you upgrade the two, which is there. And the 10 is Tom's. But it's yep. already fully upgraded, me, yeah. so it doesn't upgrade anymore. Oh. Right. <laughs> and I think that's it. That's my turn. Yeah. Uh, I need to put that on here. Didn't you roll a seven, Tom? I, I, yeah, I did have a seven. Yeah, I forgot to oh, activate ability. that ability as well. Right. Okay, so what's going on now? Um, what colour do we want? Hmm. I think we might go blue. So one, two, three, four, and a blue, plus my bonus one for symbiosis. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the keep the eight. I'm happy with the eight. Now I want the low numbers. Yeah, let's have the two ones. Now I'll have the two sixes, and then I'm going to stop there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, eight, nine, ten, twenty-two. Twenty-two on blue is going to be, yeah, it's going to be the eleven and a cage. I could you cage. could you take the the, the other blue monster? No, you, just, well, you have one. You're one off. Never mind. You're one yeah, off. one away. Math is, math is hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I bought a cage, which means we get two new cards out. But this time, they are mine. Oh, look at that big one, Basilisk. <laughs> right, got me cage. I've then got two ones, which upgrades this twice. So that goes over to there. And then there, and I've got sixes and eights. Eight is good for you, Mark, but it's already fully upgraded. Uh, it's good for uh, Tom it's as good well. good for Tom. Me as well, yeah. Yeah. That goes to there. We're done. Back to Tom. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I'm tempted to try the yellow now, because there's quite a few of those out. Okay. And my yellow's yeah. just been upgraded. If you are watching this in the chat and enjoying it, please let me know your favourite Alexander Pfister game. And we'll see what the chat says. Mom Gamer's just joined in. Hi, Mom Gamer. But yes, favourite Alexander Pfister game. Go. Right. I won't give my answer until chat's had an opportunity to say yeah. this. I don't want to. <laughs> don't want to push them in a direction. Uh, I will bank that ten. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I will keep rolling. Uh, I'll bank the pair of fives. Yeah, I thought you might. That's 20 already. Yeah. Carrying on? Yeah, I'll keep going. Uh, I think I'll bank that six. You're 26. Uh, and... 
there's a yellow card that costs 25, isn't it? Uh, 23. 23, oh. Yeah, I, th I think I might as well stop now and, okay. and buy my card. Right. So you spend your money, you buy this one. This will upgrade your green camp every time there's an eight rolled. Okay, and then you don't get any upgrades for this, I don't think. Uh, no, I don't. Nope. I've nope. got something on a ten, but that's the one that's fully upgraded already. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Which which place will we will we mm. hunt from? So now I've got a full set, so that doesn't really that doesn't really excite me anymore. So it's word I can have access to the most enjoyment. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's try let's try green. So you get six black dice. And I one from the one from the And the green and one from the set. So you've got seven black dice in total. Alright. Here we go. Let's roll a bunch of sixes. Well, uh, I guess I'll scoop up the seven. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good for the green. Uh, let's take the two fours. Okay. And roll again. Now I'll take the five and roll again. Ooh, wow. Really? Ooh, wow. Okay. So that's the seven gone. Bye bye, seven. I will yep. roll again. <laughs> uh, and the, the mystery means I get an upgrade. Yeah, that's right. You get a free upgrade on here. Yeah. I did that for you, Tom. That was, that was, I knew you needed an upgrade there, so I wanted to make sure you get it. Okay. Great, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'll take the six. So what does that have me at now? Nineteen, you 19 on green. So I get one more. I can get a. Uh, I can get two cages. Is that right? Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, you know what? Let's roll. We'll roll again. Okay. I will take that one. There's the one. <laughs> That's the one I needed. Uh, two cages. Yeah, two cages, please. Two cages. Two of your finest cages. Okay, which means we restock this with this. So just to give you an idea, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards left in the deck. Once that okay. runs out, game over. I'll take my go, and then we will... Uh, oh no, we got some upgrades. The one will one. upgrade me, and I don't know if the six upgrades anybody? No. Nope. No. Okay. Yeah, I'll take my go and then we'll look at the chat for the uh, contest. Not contest. The votes. Not the votes. You know what I mean. The thing. Right. What am I trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to get a second set. Somehow. Don't quite know how. Um, don't really want to take another blue one. Kind of want to take a green one. Yeah, let's go green. So I've got four plus my bonus one plus the green dice. Right, and I need 23, 26, or 30. I'll be happy with either of those. That's not enough. Well, I'll take the sixes. It's not a bad start, actually. Ooh. Ooh, hang on. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll take the one. <laughs> well, I'll take the three. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Come on, big green number. Yes. There you go. Right, now, do we want to stop there? What's that? 12, 20, 24. 24 will do. I will stop there. I will take this one. The Schuppenadler. Uh, now... This has got two bonuses. One of them is an immediate benefit. Now, we've not had one of these yet. It is steal a random cage from another player. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't realize this game had that. <laughs> well, this is where I need to look at. What people have got? One, two, three, four, five. I think it's going to be from you, Tom. I thought it yeah. might be. I'm definitely winning in terms of points. So I've stolen a cage from you. Um, and upgrades. I've got a one. Very, very cagey of you, Paul. Yes. <laughs> a three. Anybody upgrade on an eight? Tom, you upgrade on I an eight. Upgrade two different things on an eight. I used to once upon a time. But no longer. And that one as well. Okay, so that's your upgrades done. That's me done. Yeah, we're done. Right, okay, so the chat, unsurprisingly, Great Western Trail or Cows Across America. I actually had to Google um, Cows Across America to see if that was an actual thing because it's yeah. some people like, were actually supposed, like, seriously talking about it. <laughs> no, no, Cows Across America is, is, is the official new name for it. Uh, Kyle, I think, is in the same position as me. L likes Great Western Trail but uh, has only played Maracaibo once. I've played Maracaibo three times. Uh, I, I will hopefully know by the end of January whether I prefer Maracaibo to Great Western Trail because Great Western Trail for me is, is fantastic. It's a top 10 game. Uh, I need to play Maracaibo more to see. Uh, Slivers has said, not played a single Fister game. Thematically, none have appealed until Monster Expedition. So, there we go. Yeah, not surprised Slivers likes Monster Expedition as it is very Monster, Monster Hunter adjacent. And I know yes. Slivers loves, yeah. loves Monster Hunter. Uh, you acquired a, uh, you acquired a cage. I acquired a cage. I acqu acquired. That's a good word, that. <laughs> it's like when I, I, I acquire board games. I right. Not steal I'll be not stealing them, Paul. No, I don't steal them, but you know, <laughs> when 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 I go to Essen and I get given a copy for review, I use the word acquire because I don't mm. want to say bought when I didn't actually buy it. I feel that's you know being false, so I use the term acquire. Right, off you go then, Tom. Okay, I think I'm going to go green this time. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and the green plus your bonus for symbiosis. Here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bank those three sixes. Yep. That seems decent. And I will roll again. Paul, well, you're getting close to your second set, it looks like. I am. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll have that pair of fives. Okay. So you've got... 38 at the moment. That's a big number. It is. 28. 20, Sorry, yeah, 20. 28. That, that's <laughs> not quite as big a number. <laughs> um, I will roll once more. Oof. Oh. oh. That's a shame. So you lose one of the sixes. So I lose one of the sixes. Uh, but I will roll again. Oof. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, That's an ouch. Lose another six. So he's another six. But you do get an upgrade on this. Oh, yes. Yes, I do get that. Um, only once per turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll roll again. That probably won't happen again, will it? Close. <laughs> uh, so I bank the two. Yeah. It's definitely not 38 now. No. So I'm now on 18. Mm. Best I can get to. It's 22. 22. So you might as well just buy a cage. Well, but then if I'm going to just oh. buy a cage, I might as well roll again because I'll still be able to buy a cage even if I roll badly. Yes. And so, if you roll a three, you can buy two cages. Yeah. Mm. So let's roll again and see what happens. There you go. There it is. So, yeah. Duke's cages. cages. Yeah, there. Right, you've rolled a two and a three, which upgrades that one. That's already at max. And that's it. Yeah. Okay, Mark. All right, well. Uh, now I don't even, now I don't even know. I, uh, let's go... Four, five, 
animals left in cages. Let's go yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the bonus. I'll scoop up the ten, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh, the two fours. May the fours be with me. You're Eighteen. And we'll roll again. I'll take the six. So that has me at twenty-four. Twenty-four on yellow. Twenty-four on yellow. So there's a there's an eleven and a thirteen. Is that right? Uh, there's a fifteen and a thirteen and an eleven. Yeah. All right. So I could buy both of the the yellow. Right now, you could buy both of those. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna. I'm just gonna stop there and buy those. Okay. Yeah, they've also count. got counters on from other players, which is a nice little extra That's, thing yeah. to take into account. Yeah. That was what I was thinking about, too, when I was picking a camp. Yeah. Anybody upgrading on a 10 or a 4 or a 6? No. No. no so I no. did have, but it's that. Okay, my go. So, I've got two green. I need either yellow or blue. Blue, we can go blue. So one, two, three, four, plus the blue die, plus my bonus. I will take the, I'll take the eight. I'm gonna be greedy, I'm gonna take the two fives. take the two twos and I'll stop there so that's 22 which is this one and the cage mm. okay I then use my two twos to upgrade this once twice uh, fives and eights I've got two upgrades on an eight oh You're very close to getting more cages there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to restock. Oh, he looks friendly. I'm going to put tokens on those. I think he just needs a hug. I think so. <laughs> One cage left. So this may be the last round of the game. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go green again. Looking okay. What's available? So one, two, three, four, five, six, bonus one, and a green. Okay. There you go. That's quite a range of numbers. Uh, let's take the pair of fives. Mm hmm. Let's have the six. Oh, um, I think I'll take the one. Yeah, that. Right, right. Uh, Carry on. I'll keep going here. Well, so I am required to take the twos. You are. And it's probably sensible to stop at that point. Yeah. Then. Good move. Right. What have so, you got? 12, 22, 23. 23. So, well, there's a green card there that costs 23, isn't there? There is. Uh, so I guess I'll have that. Okay. Um, and then you've got a one, got a which one, is which there, which is that. two cages. So you get the last of these cages. That triggers the end of the game. And we then go into the reserve pile and you get another cage. Yeah. Okay. And you've also got three twos, but that's fully upgraded. And 
think that's it. Yeah. Uh, and a re and a refill because and a refill because you got a cage. Yeah. Yeah. And that gets one of my tokens on it. There you go. Right, Mark, your last turn. Uh, going green. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the bonus one and the green. Yeah. Yep. Let's roll a whole bunch of sixes. Uh, Not quite. Does, I does take... one count as a whole bunch? <laughs> uh, it doesn't in Canada. I don't know if okay. across the pond. Uh, I'll take the eight. <laughs> the great eight. And now I'll roll, now we'll have a bunch of sixes. Mm, well, that's two. Although I'm kind of tempted to take the three fours. Actually, no, I'm not. That's a mistake. Now I'll just take the two sixes. Yeah. Because it's the same amount. I'll have more chances to roll. Uh, so what do I have now? I have 20 even. Mm -hmm. The ones will get you two cages from this. That's true. Yeah, you know what? Let's take the ones. Okay. And you carrying on? And I will roll again, yep. Yeah. I'll take the two fours. Mm -hmm. And I think... Oh, nice. I think, we, I think we'll call it there. It's 30. Yeah, 30 even. Yeah, I'll stop there. You having the big one? Yeah, I'll take the I'll take uh, the big 30. Mr. Basilisk. Um, and then, so the, the upgrades will happen. I'll get the two cages. Yeah. Get two cages. I think... Yeah, I think that'll be it. Uh, uh, I get an upgrade on an eight. Mm -hmm. which I think gets me two cages. Two cages. And I get nothing. Right, so because you took a cage, you get a new one of those, with a new one of those. Right, so my last go. Uh, well, I'm getting two bonus dice, so mission successful there. But what is it that I actually want to do? Uh, what's worth the most points? That one or that one? Um, probably going to do that with blue. Yeah, so I'm going to go blue, which gets me five of them. Off we go. So we need 24. 24 is what we want. Uh, okay, seven's quite good. I need a one at some point. Um, green. Yeah, I'll take the seven. Just need a single one. I've got two of them. That's, that's fine. I'll take the ones. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to take the twos. There's the one. Right, okay, so I've got all my upgrades that I wanted. Let's just hope I don't lose anything now. So what have we got? Seven, ten, we got twelve. I need another twelve. Oh, I've got to take the threes. Um, so what's that? It was 7, 10, 15, it's 18. So you just need to roll a 6. Yeah, easy like, yeah. <laughs> I think I might just stop there. 4, 5 and 6 though, Paul. No. I'd, well, I'd, ha I'd have to roll... But the 4 or 5 doesn't achieve anything that we, we want. The six or a four yeah. and a five. It'd have or to be a six on its own, five. or two fours, or two fives, or two sixes. Yeah. Or a four and then a five. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I don't want to lose the seven. Run. Yeah, you need that seven, I think, to get. I need the, the seven to get right? the two cages for here. So I am just going to stop there. Yeah. Uh, it's a two point difference. But actually, I'm going to take a point off Tom by doing it. So I buy that one. Uh, which has an immediate effect of rotating this. I then get three rotations on this. One, two, 
three, which is two cages, and one rotation on that, which is two cages. So I get four cages. One, two, three, four. Game is over. Right, let's tot up the points. So, Tom, uh, you've got four, five, six, seven from face-up ones. Oh, you got a big one, jammy. Oh, so, you've got three for that, so that's seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay? Yeah. So 21 points for Tom. Uh, plus Don't forget the, the ones the that word. I've got my Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 points for Tom. Right. Mark. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Got a lot of points out of those. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You got a big one as well. 19, 20, 21. And another big one, 24, 25, 26, 27. Wait, am I not what understanding the numbers on these? Or where the victory points look like they're... Maybe, maybe I'm not understanding the numbers. Like, the what is the bigger gold number on the above that? The bigger gold number is if you captured it. The lower the lower number if it was ah, in a cage. Ah, yes, of course. Yep, got it. Yeah. So, what was yours, Tom? I can't actually remember. Twenty something. Okay. <laughs> uh, did I count the card uh, tucked under? No, oh, you're absolutely yes. right. We haven't counted these either. Thank you very much. So, can somebody remind us what Tom's was? <laughs> I'm just twenty four. It was four, five, six, seven. I think it was seven from face up ones. So let's do it again. So seven so plus the four is 11, 15, 17. Okay, so 17 from face up ones. People and then the 17. 24. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31. 34 in total. Right. 34 in total. I will so, remember that this well, time. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do that. There you go. Right. Mark. Yours was 27, wasn't it? I don't remember. I think uh, it was 27. Yes. And then I need to add the 4 for these. So you're 31. Right. Me. These are my face-up ones. This is a face-up one. Right, so my face-up ones. Oh, and these are caged. Right, okay. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 13, 14, 17, 19, plus 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 31, 32, 33. Ooh, there you one. go. That was all pretty close. Though. That was pretty, pretty close. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Livers. I'd forgotten to count these ones that I'd, I tucked under here. Um, so, there we go. 31, 33, 34. Nice so game. As predicted. As predicted, Tom was the. Uh, as predicted, Tom, the Tom wins. But we did well. We kept him, kept him honest. Yeah, it was all very close, wasn't it? It was Although, all very no, close. I, I, I guess, Paul, we won, right? Because if you add 31 and 33, that's 64, and that's 30 oh, more true. points than 34. So I, yeah, think we do, I think we actually do win if you if you do that. Yeah, we're going to combine forces. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, Tom. So, uh, Mark, initial impressions? Uh, I like how snappy it is. It feels sort of at the end of the game like um, the upgrades sort of feel just like they like it doesn't seem like the upgrades are terribly special in some mm -hmm. for some reason because it feels like like you you can all kind of you can generally get to the end of most of the tracks I think. Um, but I, I yeah I really like the like the dice rolling mechanic is really cool the like the bank the dice banking system is neat. Um, I like how it, it, the game went pretty quickly. There's decisions to make on each turn without being too overwrought with. With doing the math on things uh yeah no it's it's nice it's mm. it's a lot snappier than i would have figured a uh an alexander fister game to be because yeah. most of most of the games i've played um yeah. by him are not are not that 
Um, no, definitely no, definitely not. Um, and the theme is cool too. I yeah. Like the theme a lot. One thing that's nice about the uh, the dice banking system, because I've played ones very, very similar to this, where you're not allowed to take a number that you've already taken. But in those games, whenever you then fail, you fail and you like skip yep. your turn. In this, yeah, that's, that's an ouch. you just lose one of your highest dice and then you carry on. So it's not completely punishing. Um, yeah, that's quite nice. Tom, what about you? What about your impression? Uh, yeah, it was, it was a fun game to play. Um, yeah. Are, are you a fan of his bigger, heavier games? Uh, yes, I, I have enjoyed all his his big, heavy ones. Yeah, uh, quite a lot. So yeah, this is obviously very different from them, but it's mm -hmm. yeah, it's a fun game. Yeah, it's not quite bordering on a filler game because filler games for me are like. 20 minutes 25 minutes max probably a, yeah a little bit long for that it's, it's a short game but it's I, I, as mark says you have decisions and that's what's quite nice and it's the decisions about which camp you want to go from which is based on which cards are available uh which might be based on uh you know which sets you're trying to collect or which abilities there are there and then the decisions on the dice is actually quite quite interesting as well so yeah i liked it so somebody said in the chat that it will be out, I believe, in English sometime next year. So yeah, I think they are doing it in English. 2021. 2021. Right. OK. So, yeah, this was the German version that Amigo Spiel uh, sent me because um, I, I, I wrote to them and asked them and I hadn't realized it was only in German. But they said, no, 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 it's fine. It's language independent apart from the names of the, the monsters that you're actually uh, that you're actually hunting. Be interesting to see what the... Uh, what the English names are for these monsters. <laughs> so we'll get them. We'll get them translated. Right. Well, thank you very much to you two for joining me. That's the last game I've play, I'm playing with you, Tom. I think this weekend. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've... Have you got anything else planned for the rest of the day? Uh, yes, I, I've got the uh, super secret playtest later on. Oh, the super secret say playtest with the super secret people that we can't talk about. Mm. Yes. Coming to Kickstarter next year from a very big company. That's all. That's all we can say. <laughs> Mark, have you got any streaming later on today? No, not today. I usually I, I usually take weekends off, but I make special exceptions for for fine folks who uh, who ask me to come on and play fun games with them. So um, right. I don't have anything super secret planned. It'll probably be very be very uh, unsecret relaxation <laughs> uh, for the rest of the day. Just sort of relax and get ready for the the work week. Lots yep. of editing business to take care of. Yes. Yes. Right. Well, I will say goodbye to you two. Thank you very much for both joining me. Thanks for having me. It was lovely, uh, lovely to hang out and play. Yeah, again. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, Take Tom. care. Bye, everybody. Right, there we go. We are all done. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this useful. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this video is part of my live streaming series for Virtual Gridcon 2. If you've watched this video, obviously give it a like, leave us a comment, things like that. Um, but if you are in a position to be able to support even just a, a pound or a dollar or anything like that, the link is on screen, justgiving.com slash fundraising slash VGC2, raising money for the young adults in Uganda, uh, who are obviously struggling with a lot of things at the moment. So every bit helps. Um, and that's everything. I will be back in 45 minutes with my final game, okay? It's going to be emotional. Uh, yeah, I'm playing Kalos 1303. So that's happening here live on the channel in 45 minutes time. If you're interested in that, it will be the last video that I'm doing this weekend. And then I'm going to go for a lie down afterwards. But yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com